Spring training begins in two weeks. Here's a list of the players we'll be inviting to camp. I never heard of half of these guys, and the ones I do know are way past their prime. Most of these guys never had a prime. The facts are we lost our two best players to free agency. This guy here is dead. Cross him off, then. And he drives it into right center field, hit a ton. This baby is way back. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Hum Baby Baseball Channel. And today, we're going to talk about the Giants, okay? Not doing a lot of Giants talk lately as much as I normally do because Giants aren't doing nothing. But they did put out their non-roster invitees so we can look through that list of guys and see if there's any potential there, anyone to be excited about. And there are some people to be excited about. There are some names on there that look like they might be able to help in 2020. And there's going to be some names on there that are not going to help in 2020, but they're coming to spring training anyway. There's a list of guys who are not on the official 40-man roster, but they're getting invited to spring training anyway because the Giants want to take a closer look at them. So let's bust out the list. And I'm not going to give a biography on every single guy. Just want to run through it. And I'm going to put my thoughts out. You put your thoughts out below. We have from the top. Some of these guys, I'm not going to lie. I don't know too much about. I had to look him up. But this guy here at the top, Matt Carasiti. I have heard of him. I think he was with the Rockies and with the Mariners. He is a prospect. that was not really a prospect anymore. He's probably about 28 years old, 29 years old. So the guy's a little bit older. He's never done much. But... Hey, a little bit of depth there. You never know how he's going to do. Tyler Sear was with the Rivercats for a while towards the end, but he spent most of the year in AA, and he had a great season. This dude just tore it up, and he was going to be promoted to the Giants probably around 2018, 2017, but he had elbow surgery, had some issues. But in 2019, 1.97 ERA, 59 strikeouts in 50 innings, gets promoted to the Rivercats, helped them win a national minor league championship. So Tyler Sear, look for him. I think that he is really a nice arm. He could be helpful. He could be part of the San Francisco Giants in 2020. Um, a few other names here. Trey McNutt. There's a name that's freaking insane. Trey McNutt has been around forever with the Cubs, minor leagues. He's got like 10 plus years minor league experience, independent league experience, Mexican league experience. He's been all over, still hadn't made his major league debut, so he hadn't given up the dream. Trey McNutt is a, a pretty good looking pitcher, and he's had some nice seasons lately in the minors and the independent leagues, but who knows? Okay, there's a guy. That's a... Um, that's out of left field right there. Trey McNutt. And then you got Sam Mole. This guy's a lefty, 2.39 ERA in the minors. He is a third-round draft pick of 2013. So a pretty high draft pick, fairly high third round. Left-handed pitcher could be helpful for the Giants. Had a great season in the minors. Carlos Navas saw him pitch a few games in Sacramento. He started some games, had a 3.4 ERA on the season. So could be helpful, could add some depth. Not really sure. Andrew Triggs. Don't know much about him. He's got a little big league experience, I believe. Not sure much there. Rafi Vizcaino, though, look out for this dude. This guy is electric. 74 strikeouts in 64 innings. 3.16 ERA coming out of the bullpen. Could be a bullpen piece for the Giants if he continues to pitch that well. He might get an opportunity. And then Sam Wolf, he's been around in the minor leagues for a little while with the Giants. Got him from Texas in the Matt Moore deal. He is a good arm. So look for Sam Wolf to try to make the team. And also, I have to mention an actual high draft pick. 2018 second round out of the University of Kentucky. This guy is seven feet tall. He is Sean Jella, I believe is how to say it, but I'm not 100% on that. But anyway, this guy, 28 starts, got up to double A last year and it pitched pretty well. 3.32 ERA. So definitely looking forward to watching him. An actual real prospect. Jumping into the position players. Joey Bart has been invited to spring training, and I don't need to say anything about him. He is our biggest prospect. This guy is going to be an absolute beast, so there's really nothing else to be said there. Joey Bart, second overall pick in the draft. This dude is the future of the Giants. Simple as that. But that doesn't mean these other catchers are just nobodies because Tyler Haneman in AAA, 336 average, 13 home runs and 244 at bats, a little bit of pop. So he, that is a legit, he's a switch hitter too. So he's a legitimate possibility to back up Buster Posey if Joey Bart starts the season in the minor leagues. So look for Tyler Heineman in spring training. And then you got Chad Tromp 
who had injury issues last season. He hit 280 in limited time. So that's another guy to look out for in spring training. Christian Adamis, switch hitting infielder. This guy's got some versatility. He can play multiple position. He uh, used to be with the Marlins organization, but he came up last year, helped out the Giants in September. He went seven for 24, which is a 318 average. So he did fine in a very limited opportunity for the Giants. So let's look for him in spring training. Zach Green actually spent quite a bit of time with the big club last season. He's got some pop, he's got power. He could be an option. He could play third, he could play first. Look for Zach Green. And then Drew Robinson, he was a pretty high prospect for the Rangers. Uh, then he got sent to the Cardinals. He actually made the team, the St. Louis Cardinals. He was on the opening day roster in 2019, but he quickly got sent back to the minors. Spent most of the year in AAA, hit 265, six home runs. He can also play multiple positions. He can play pretty much every position except maybe catcher and pitcher. But this dude did not get to finish the season. He had to have Tommy John. Supposedly he's going to be ready for spring training. He's not a pitcher, so maybe that's why. But uh, we'll see Drew Robinson out there. And then the outfielders, Joey Rickard did fine with the Giants in a small opportunity. Hit 280. Did not look quite as good as guys like Yaz and Dickerson. And that's why they're going to get first opportunities. And also, of course, he's got to fight for a job against guys like Steven Duggar, Jalen Davis. So there's a lot of good looking outfielders already on the roster. But Joey Rickard is going to get an opportunity. And so is Jamie Westbrook, former Diamondback prospect. Between the Reno Aces and AAA and the Jackson Generals and AA, he hit 281, 16 home runs. He's got a career 280 batting average in the minors. So that's going to provide a little depth there. I've seen Jamie Westbrook play in AAA and he looks pretty good. So Giants got some options, nothing spectacular. And you notice Elliot Ramos is not on the list. So apparently he did not get a big league invite, but he is a big time prospect. So he's going to get some opportunities as well. I'm sure to play in big league camp during spring training, even if he's not going to be officially an invitee, he's going to bring brought, be brought over plenty of times. Don't even worry about that. Elliot Ramos, big part of the Giants plans. And so are a bunch of other guys who we don't see on this list. Just because they're on the list doesn't mean they're not a big part of the Giants plans. But Joey Bart, going to be in big league spring training. That's going to be super exciting. And it might mean he's got an outside chance to make the team. I don't know. Maybe. You never know. I'm assuming he's going to start the season in AAA. But dude, if Joey Bart just tears up tr spring training, I mean, you got to make decisions. Tough decisions got to be made. If he's ready, he's ready. You don't just let him toil away in the minors. If he's ready, you bring him up. So we'll see how Joey Bart does. I can't wait for spring training. Cannot wait for spring training. <laughs> Oh. Just wanted to run through that list of non-roster invitees. Honestly, nobody really spectacular except, of course, Joey Bart. And, you know, there are a couple of pitchers there that can help. There's a couple of players that can help. But, yeah, if you're looking at that list and you're thinking, what the hell is this? Who are these dudes? Well, yeah, that's what I thought, too. But if you look into some of these guys, they actually had nice seasons in the minor leagues. They, You just don't know. There could be more guys. You thought the same when you saw the list last year with who the hell is this? Mike Yastrzemski? Who the hell is the Orioles? This ain't no Carl. He's not too far off of Carl, as it turns out. He's pretty damn good. Maybe he ain't no Carl, but he is pretty good in his own right. So Mike Yastrzemski worked out. You never know. You know, did anyone think Dickerson was going to do anything? Did anyone think Solano was going to I thought Solano was freaking good because I watched him in the minor leagues. But I'm sure most Giants fans were like, who the hell is this guy? Solano can freaking rake. And these guys, they might help. They might not. So we'll wait and see. But I just wanted to go through that list, check it out, talk a little Giants baseball, trying to make more Giants videos. There hadn't been too much to talk about with the San Francisco Giants, sadly. Thank you guys for joining me today. Let me know what you think of some of those guys on that list. Hope you have a fantastic day, fantastic evening. Make sure you hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed. Giving away a Babe Ruth Boston Braves bobblehead in box. So make sure you subscribe to the channel for a chance to win this. Giving this away when I hit 2,000 subscribers. Have a great day, everyone. Talk to you later. See ya! When the Giants come to town It's bye-bye, baby Every time the chips are down It's bye-bye, baby History's in the making at Oracle Park